Well, very pleasant fall like if you're getting out and about for downtown San Angelo. Temperatures right now in the lower 70s, two points in the 50s. Those southerly winds at about nine miles per hour. Those are continue to keep us warm and allow us to warm up going into the rest of this weekend as well. Upper 60s and lower 70s for much of the area. 70 in Eden, 73 in Mertzen, 70 in Ozona. So again, uh, pretty slightly cooler for this time of year, but again. Uh, pretty comfortable. Light winds, but we will see those picking up tomorrow as we go into uh, the afternoon hours. Tonight, dipping into the upper 50s. Very cool. We will still hang on to some of those clouds. Again, with those southerly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, very warm, getting into the upper 80s. Increasing clouds as we start to see that front begin to move in later tomorrow. And then those southwesterly winds picking up again, 10 to 15 with gusts up to 20 at time. So let's get into this temperature roller coaster that I was talking about. We're going to warm up pretty close to record temperatures for Sunday. The record is 91. We're expected to get into the upper 80s. Some places could get into the lower 90s, but again, close to record highs on Sunday. Then the cold front comes through and that drops us nearly 60 degrees in some places. And that's going to be getting us to close to record lows for overnight lows going into Tuesday. So record highs to record lows in just a matter of two days is going to be quite a temperature change as this strong cold front begins to move in. We'll start to see it dipping down on Sunday, warming up still ahead of the front. But as we get into the overnight hours on Sunday, that's when that front really starts to push through and bringing us those much cooler temperatures, especially across much of Texas going into your Monday and starting off the week. So how does different precipitation types? We're going to be talking about that as the chance for some wintry mix with this frontal system is possible. So for some of our southern counties, they're likely staying above freezing for the entire duration of this. So we'll just be looking at strictly rain. But for our northern counties, places like Sterling City, as well as Robert Lee, and even here in San Angelo, we could be seeing a mix of both freezing rain and sleet as we get this uh, freezing layer at the lower end and still some warmer air aloft. And so as we kind of time this out, Monday we'll be looking at mostly a rain event. That'll be out ahead of the cold front, the very, very cold air. And then as that more colder air pushes in, that's when we get the chance for some wintry mix, especially in our northwestern counties. That'll push through on Tuesday and even into Wednesday. The chances for some snow, very unlikely. But again, that possibility still stays off towards our northwest. And then by Wednesday, everything begins to clear out. Things will be switching over to rain and again starting to warm up a bit. So again, we'll be watching for warmer temperatures on Sunday, a big cool down as this front pulls through. Early Tuesday morning, late Wednesday, late Monday night, that's going to be our best chance for that slippery rain, uh, freezing rain and some icy uh, conditions. And then things will begin to clear out on Wednesday and warming up for a pretty nice weekend with temperatures in the 70s for your Halloween.